Hindi hmm. <laughs> bago ako. Wala ka. Wala ka sa screen. Ano nangyari? Ano nangyari? Maayos na yan by next week. <laughs> Magandang gabi, partner. Magandang Good gabi, evening. partner. Kamusta? Ito nga eh. Kamusta ang, uh, kamusta ang Tuesday dyan sa kung tawagin ay Kuala Lumpur? Oo, oh, ang Truly Asia ay medyo okay naman ang kumpara sa umaatikabong aksyon na nangyayari sa Pilipinas. Steady lang kami. <laughs> <laughs> Para na na yun. No? crave ako sa lugaw dahil ang dami ko nakikita ang post about the essential lugaw at maraming mga recipe dyan. Kamusta dyan, uh, coach? Mabigat yung, ano, no? mabigat yung usaping uh, essential or not essential. Correct. Diba? Oo. Oh, oh. yun, eh, no? Sapagkat ang uh, ano pala pag uh, hindi natin siya kailangan sa araw-araw, mabubuhay tayo, di ba? Ay hindi pala essential. Ay naku. So ang bago kong linya ngayon na uh, kay Chess ay you are essential. Pero yeah. <laughs> Jay, tago sa pangalan Chessential. Chessential. Pero <laughs> <laughs> diba? oh. pag essential ka ngayon, mabigat ka, di ba? Oo. Oh. So, Nasasettle na yata yung debate. <laughs> So ngayon, napunta naman sa ano naman ng usapin, no? sa ivermectin oh, oh. at sa herbal medicine na uh, lingwa. lingwa. Ay, oh, oh. So ayan po mga kaibigan, ay, nagpapatunay lang na of course lahat ng tao po, naghahanap po talaga ng ano, naghahanap po ng comfort and okay. hope ng pag-asa sa gitna na itong nangyaring, no, uh, hindi mo masasabi talaga na ano eh, sa totoo lang, ano, parang last year din, parang hindi na tayo dapat na surpresa. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So learning natin dito is every time na mayroong balita about a new variant or a threat, we should be more prepared. Yeah. At tinihahanda na natin ang ating sarili. No? And sa amin, no, sa mga nag-re-resto negosyo sa Pilipinas, napakahirap. No? Sapagkat nag-momentum na nung Febra- February, tapos March, maganda rin naman ang pasok. Mm-mm. Biglang uh, nagkaroon nga na itong surge. So again, nagpapasalamat tayo sa lahat ng mga nag-restaurant, no? mga resto negosyante, mga food negosyante na patuloy na nagsisilbi araw-araw sa ating mga komunidad no upang ma-deliver hindi lamang po lugaw no iba't mm-hmm. ibang pagkain at ngayong gabi ngayong gabi pizza naman ang ating oh naku sana talagang pwede mag-deliver niyo nito dito sa Malaysia niyang pizza niya <laughs> natikman ko na talaga pong napakasarap oh, napakasarap na- mamaya kay kwento ko lalo yan pero bago tayo tumungo diyan ano ba yung napag-usapan natin last week Yon, last week. Actually, maganda yung tuhog natin from last week to this week kasi ano pa rin naman siya, medyo related siya on being an OFW. So, yung mm-hmm. last week natin, yung ating um, action-packed episode kasi ang dami nating mga OFWs na nagkwento, di ba? Na mm-hmm. naging OFEs. So, your first point is yung find your tribe. Nakahanap sila ng mga like-minded people where OFE evolved from a business network to an entrepreneurial community with a vision. Alam mo gusto gusto ko yung phrase na ano mo no na ginamit mo ron yung finding your tribe. Mm. Totoo yun no people like-minded and like-valued people gravitate towards each, ano, each other in, even in life no. Mm-mm. Mas hindi naman sa negosyo no. Uh, yes. And in fact yan yung mga OFW natutuwa ako pag nagbubuklod-buklod nagsasama-sama kasi napakagandang ano yan senyales no. Hindi kasi magandang pakinggan na pag uh, yung magkakababayan ay hindi nagtutulungan pag lalo na pat na sa malayong lugar no and mm-hmm. you'll be a better you'll be a kumbaga you're in a better perspective to to say that no? more than me kasi uh, nga OFW ka din no mm-hmm. so i think yung yung importante dito is not even for OFWs but for people kapati rin yung mga nagne-negosyo na importante no find your tribe yes. hanapin mo yung mga taong pareho ng values mo pareho ng mga pinaninindigan mo sa buhay mm-hmm. no and eventually when your decision making time comes no Malamang, pare-pareho kayo na magiging desisyon at align kayo. No? Alignment is key. 
Sabi nga, di ba? Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh. Natuwa nga ako nun sa ano eh, sa ating coach Zark nung na, narinig niya, parang na-inspire siya na parang, siya, sayang nung time ko, sana. Meron silang mga ganun, di ba? Kasi nung time na yun, wala siya masyado makausap about it. <laughs> well, which, ano, which, ano, lalo ako na-amaze sa kanya kasi wala pa siyang support na ganun, pero ang tindi ng vision niya talaga. Yes, so And then, speaking of that, the second point is, yung where they were, they incubated, then elevated. It prepared and converted the OFWs, as well as yung families, yung mindset nila to depend on lifelong contracts of employment via education. Well, uh, I will share with you yung ano ko dyan. Ano, matagal ko ng iga nga passion din yung mga usaping tungkol sa OFW. Mm-hmm. Sapagat yung generation namin, no, I think, no mas matanda ako sa iyo eh no uh, yung generation namin yun yung ano eh no yun yung mga siguro hindi mo naman masasabi kasi technically ang first generation ng OFW yung mga yung mga pinadala sa Hawaii pinadala sa Stockton uh-huh. sa Amerika no na uh-huh. naging magsasaka no pero eh, itong mga recent history I mean you know yung generation na nagpunta sa Middle East mm-hmm. inabot ko yan eh inabot ko yan tapos nauso yung Brunei mm-hmm. and then yung Japan di ba and uh, And you know, the story is, ano, no, ang dami ng istorya. Ang dami ng istorya ang pwedeng paghugutan ng mga insights. And I'm glad that this new generation of OFWs, parang ano yun, no? they're parang ano, ano, enlightened. Yes. Sa katagangan ng mga bata, no? they're woke dun sa kanilang mga realities. And they're trying to learn from the lessons of history mm-hmm. ng mga past generations of OFWs na pinanggalingan nila. Diba? Na, ika nga, ngayon, let's make it a better situation for not only for the OFWs but also for their families. Diba? And then yung pinakamaganda rin yung when you said they they were woke kasi they were able to identify and fill in the gaps. They found their deepest why to, to collaborate, to complete the ecosystem of OFE. They built their own stories and they're inspiring others and to take advantage of available resources and support systems. Yeah, and I think the the intention of uh, building a community without any a hidden agenda of staying in power, they 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 openly said no that in 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 fact they're willing to let go of leadership of that group once na nakita nilang na pwede nang ipasa. No? It's about a sincere intention to form a community of you know, support, not just support no, but more of empowerment. Kaya alay na alay sa atin, no? it's inspiring, empowering, and equipping OFWs to becoming OFD. Speaking Uh-oh. of which, no, andito mga kaibigan natin from UK, of course, Victor Mempin, mm. from Las Vegas, no, ang pamilyang Castro, Miss Tina, kamusta po? Sabi niya, hi coach, ng gabi, sa inyo dyan, Honey Max Vicente, Erwin Lancero, of course, nandiyan parati yan, Hotel Marciano, Madonna Cepeda Rodriguez, Susan Villavicencio, Jordan Bernardo of Mad Cafe, Kea Flores Eranya, yan, siyempre. May hatak ang ating uh, bisita. No? Yes. Kaya naman na maganda kasi dumadaming nanonood sa atin. Mm-hmm. Chef Jude de Guzman. No? Ito talagang, ano to eh, kuratsya, walang pahinga to. Kahit anong ECQ, ESQ, kahit ano. <laughs> no? Talagang ang lakas ng kanyang negosyo. Congratulations, mm-hmm. Chef Jude de Guzman. Babalik ka dito, ah, magkwentuhan tayo ulit. Ayan po, makaibigan. Chris Guillermo. Ako na, excited siya. Pizza, sabi niya ganyan. Norman, how diyan? Kamusta na kayo dyan, bro? Mga taga-SM yan. Ano? Maria Lencia, of course, Lingguling. And of course, from Australia. At uh, si Mr. Donald Tenorio. No? Mm-hmm. Best friend Donald from Down Under. At ang kanyang uh, nagtatagumpay rin na OFE sa Australia na si Chef Jenny B. Tenorio. Yes. Mm-hmm. Charlene Sarmiento, Susan Villavicencio. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. And without... Oh, of course, Miss Peachy de la Cruz. No? Hindi nawawala yan. Kandang gabi po, isa sa mga pagtataguyod ng ating uh, palabas mula pa po nung simula at uh, syempre, critical link to UFS, Unilever Food Solutions. Makaibigan sa Unilever, magandang gabi po. Harvey Magnaye and of course, Commissioner Chito Hauregui ng Howball, no the happiest basketball friendship in the world. Jan Jan Regala. Yes, ka OFE. Marivic Mojica. Ephraim Cordoba, ito. Nasa Middle East din to, no? Si Ephraim Kenneth Cordoba from Saudi, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Sabi niya dyan. Gina Santos is also with us. Magandang gabi po sa Australia din yan. Ang daming OFW na nakasubaybay sa atin. Meg Manzano. Let's go, Luigi Eranya. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. okay. 
Dapat daw sinama si Daddy Iranya, itatanong natin kay Luigi. Mami. Okay, without further ado, share. Yes, okay. Ang ating episode 45, A Pizza Lover's Dream Come True from OFW to Reso Negosyante. We, we are proud to present Mr. Luigi Iranya of Luigi's Pizza. Yeah, Hi, Luigi's Luigi! Pizza. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Ayan, nagmukha na naman tayo yung batang-bata, share. Ang ating, ating pamangkin. <laughs> <laughs> pamangkin natin si Luigi. Sige, share, fire away. Marami-raming kwento to. Ayan, Ito gusto ko talaga na. yung un- yung laging favorite kong question, yung first question ko, ang origin story. Can you please share with us your story before Luigi's Pizza? Yeah, before, uh, oh, before Luigi's. Mm-hmm. Uh, before Luigi's, I worked in Japan as an mm-hmm. OFW for about two and a half years. Mm-hmm. And then I came home uh, December 2019. Mm-hmm. Although our contract was my contract was supposed to end sometime March pero uh, circumstances kasi families uh, from my mother's side my father's side uh, they all went home December mm-hmm. I was scheduled to go home March so parang sabi ko why not start the new year and Christmas na rin in the Philippines before mm-hmm. I finish or when I finish my contract so I didn't actually finish March but I came home December para to see family and everyone and start the new year in the Philippines na. Which is actually lucky because yes. um, when did lockdown start? It started March 2020. So if I didn't go home last December, I'd Inabog be stuck, doon, I'd be yes. stuck in Japan as an mm-hmm. ALT and I'd probably do <laughs> I, one more year, I guess. Kasi, mm-hmm. syempre, ando na rin ako. It's not safe. So, papalipas, ipon pa rin ng cash. So, parang gan- ipon pa rin, work pa rin in Japan. Oh, if I may ask, ano yung work mo in Japan? I worked as an assistant language teacher in Hamamatsu City. So, Hamamatsu is, uh, if you've been to Tokyo, I, I think a lot of people have been to Tokyo, a lot of people have been to Osaka, diba? They're mm-hmm. like on different sides of Japan. Yeah. Hamamatsu is dead center. So, what's nice oh, about, okay. uh, what's nice about Hamamatsu is, it's, in the center. So if I have like cousins from my mother's side or father's side or friends coming over, usually destination is Tokyo Mm-mm. or or Osaka. It's a bullet train away. So yeah. it's easy compared na if I was in Osaka and then if family went to Tokyo, an layo. Dulo dulo. So what's nice with Hamamatsu is I was in the dead center. So yeah. it's easy for me to visit uh, family and friends when they came over to Japan. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I, as you were saying, so you got back here, uh, nag, nag fresh start ka ng 2020, correct? Mm, yep. Yes, mm-hmm. fresh and start. Then, yes. And then from 2020 until before Luigi's Pizza, what happened? Um, so, syempre, um, pahinga ng konte, di ba? Kasi mm. <laughs> kakabalik oh. lang from mm. ano. It's nice to see everyone try to catch up with everyone. Eventually, syempre, si mom will look for work. You have to look for work. So, so <laughs> syempre, I had to scramble kasi para sabi, medyo parang mag, ano ka na, ilang, uh, matagal na yung pahinga mo, ah. magtrabaho ka na. So, ayun, I had to look for work and um, luckily, around Feb, because mahilig ako magmotor. I like I like riding motorcycles and um, I couldn't find work. So, uh, luckily, I applied to one of the big motorcycle companies in Danghari. It's an American motorcycle company. Mm-hmm. I won't name na lang what the company is. Mm-hmm. But uh, fortunately, I got in as a sales rep. And mm-hmm. that was Feb. Sabin la sige, we'll process you. And then come March 17 was the first day of work. Mm-hmm. I, timing the timing. timing. <laughs> first, first day of work. Um, Excited, siempre motor ako punta ako dun. Uh, uh, was there like around 7:30. Uh, the shop opens at eight, and parang mga mag the 8:20 na but wala pa rin tao. <laughs> so eventually, the other employees who were able to go to work were there na rin. and then uh, the big boss, the general manager of the big bikes division, eventually said called and then said, oh, "Okay, buhang lockdown." Uwi tayo lahat. Okay. So, pinauwi. From there, ayun, parang, uh, okay. So, uwi ako, actually. So, that's what happened. And they would say, okay, await further instruction, di ba? Parang, what will we do? Because no one, at that time, 
companies didn't know what to do with the lockdown. Ito, ito so, papas- papasok ba kayo? Skeletal lang ba yung papasok? No mm-hmm. work? No pay? Ano ba yung manyanyari? So, with my company, what happened was, it was, especially for me, and sabi nila, kahit yung ibang regulars daw, no work, no pay. That was around March and mm-hmm. I asked the HR. Even the HR didn't have any answers on what to do. Kasi unang-una sa lahat, uh, at that time, siguro two, three weeks into the lockdown or a month into the lockdown, uh, companies were letting go of employees. Long-time employees, new employees. Basta naglalabas sila ng... I mean, they were they were cutting off employees, di ba? Mm-hmm. Eh ako, I, I technically signed my contract. But hindi pa ako on board or hindi pa ako nagmaman on the floor basically. Mm-hmm. So what happened was they didn't really update me. It's been like a few, like every two, three weeks I would ask the HR what would I do? What's the instruction? And they couldn't mm-hmm. really tell me anything. They can't tell me uh, where to go, what to do. Mm-hmm. Ang sabi lang ng, naalala ko, sabi lang ng general manager namin, you're here sell a bike. So that's what I tried to do. <laughs> uh, wala, pang, wala pang one month, I was able to make a sale. Surprisingly. Galing, right? I, I surprised wow. myself. I made At a sale. hindi mura yung mga bike dyan, ha? Hindi mura yung mga bike <laughs> These are American muscle bikes. Mm-mm. Big cruiser bikes. I can't say the name, but I was able to sell one. Luckily, pa ako, wow, proud na proud pa ako na kapenta ako isa. But even if I made the sale, apparently HR still didn't know what to do with me. So, mm. It's been a few months and a few months in that's when um I really didn't know what to do. Hindi nila ako pinapa-report to work. Hirap naman pupunta ka doon, nag nagsusunog ka ng gas, dumadaan ka ng checkpoint, 'di ba? At that time, ang daming mm, checkpoints. Yeah, daming checkpoints. Oh. I had to go through like probably two or three checkpoints just to get mm-hmm. to uh the dealership in Daanghari. So, mm-hmm. what happened was uh I had a neighbor and i had a, i have my barkada in the village cuz they know ever since japan i i've been making pizza mm-hmm. i mean ah, okay. I, okay so so let's let's wind back a bit let's wind back a bit um okay so ever since i was a kid my favorite food was pizza mm-hmm. and um what happened was uh before i went to japan i actually went to new york for a cousin's wedding went to new york and then i saw left and right yeah new york pizza places diba? Tama. Tama. so naloka ako <laughs> every street i'd stop and i tell my cousins uh guys bili mo na tayo ng pizza and then like my cousin uh my cousin john from canada he was there at that time he said uh eka magdi dinner tayo <laughs> I just wanted to buy a slice. Because it's, it's my favorite food. Eh. And ever since I've seen that uh, business model of a small pizza place, na mom and pop, it's not it's not franchise, it's, yeah. it's family run. I, Indi, oh, ko, Indi. Indi. I'd want something like that in the Philippines, actually. So anyway, fast forward back to Japan. Um, uh, it was probably, I think, 20... 20 ano 2018 going 2019 I was talking with my girlfriend one uh so I I was ask I was talking with Monica and then she said parang eh syempre wala magawa sa Japan eh I was I was in a semi city major mm-hmm. province so wala kang masyadong gagawin doon if you don't go downtown so mm-hmm. thinking of something to do and then she suggested uh why don't we why don't you try to learn how to cook your favorite food? Because at that time, when I was in Japan, I can only cook two things. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, scrambled eggs <laughs> and grilled chicken. So for the, <laughs> for the longest time, I, I just ate uh, school lunch. Very healthy. Japanese school lunch is very healthy. And lagi nagro-rotate yan. Very healthy. And then for dinner, it's just scrambled egg, grilled chicken, scrambled egg. You mag chicken. <laughs> chicken and eggs. Okay. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so so from there, um, uh, my girlfriend... Uh, told me try to try to learn how to make pizza and then mm-hmm. sabi ko sige I'll, I'll try and then so that's the story of how I almost burned down my apartment <laughs> my, <laughs> oh yeah sabi nga nang daging mo eh I almost burned down my apartment kasi I wasn't checking the I wasn't checking the the ano the stove kasi I tried to do stove ano parang uh, cast iron pizza pa mm. and then narinig ko na lang yung alarm <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then, musok, musok na sunog na pala yung ilalim. Basta, then that's how it just launched na trial and error. Uh, on the weekends, I would look for ingredients. I'd ask uh, my Japanese teachers to help me translate what's flour in Japanese. Yung mga ganun. I got a electric pizza oven and that's how it started actually. Every Saturday and Sunday in Japan, I would make pizza. And ayun, from pale white pizza, eventually, uy, nagkakakulay na. Uy, hindi na siya oblong. Uy, bilog na siya. Parang it's practice. Yeah. practice. And syempre, uh, OFW Japan nakakaipon. So actually, uh, summer vacation, winter vacation, spring vacation sometimes, I get to go home. So oh, okay. I, I, I asked my mom, sabi ko, mom, uh, can you help me purchase this uh, semi-commercial oven? So ayun, every time I went home, From there, I would uh, make pizza for family and friends. So that's how I started to, mm. to make pizza. Na, lalong na-hone, di ba, yung kanyang craft? Mm. Oo. Mm. Coach, ay tanong ako, paano niyo makilala si, ano, si Luigi? Yung dad niya, yun nga, mm. I play basketball with his dad. Uh, we are in this group, no, yung kinatawag na How Ball. No? It's mm. a group that was, uh, ano, ano na yan, ha? from 1990s pa yan. Uh, matagal na. So I joined them. Mga 2000s na yan eh. So, but, mm-hmm. uh, oh, siguro mga, oh, mga 2000s na. I mm-hmm. joined them. And uh, ever since, nakakalaro ko yung dad niya. And then one day nga, kinento sa akin ng dad niya na uwi na nga raw si Luigi and he's planning to, ano, kasi alam din nila yung resto coach sa, ano, eh, no? sa grupo namin. So, mm-hmm. nagtatanong-tanong habang nagsishoot around. And sabi ko nga, that's a great idea. No? Number one, uh, kaya ako natandaan yung kwento eh. Kasi sabi niya, he loves pizza. Sabi ko, the number one, pinaka-importante is that he's passionate about the product that he's going to sell. Exactly. Diba? Eh, mm-hmm. Consistent siya, di ba? Kanina, motor seat, mm-hmm. no? may ilig siya ron eh. Mm-hmm. So, eh, pizza, so he's an expert. Meaning, the, the, the best person to say kung, ma, kung quality yung ginagawa mo or excellent ba talaga is kung mahilig ka ron sa produkto na yun. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. And even us, di ba? I always tell the story na if we, before we sign the franchise agreement for some, someone, We uh, we ask them to eat the, the product and Totoo. we look we we check their reaction no kung talagang genuinely nasasarapan ba sila and you know that's how you know no and and passion talaga ni Luigi so pasok na pasok so, pa yung pangalan niya di ba sa pizza yes. <laughs> pang pang pizza talaga eh sabi dito ni Miss Kaya no Kaya Flores oh. Eranya no fan na fan to alam ko na nako related <laughs> Coach Romel, ang pogi ng guest mo. Siguro kamukha ng Daddy Mike. <laughs> so, uh, hindi na ako magko-comment. Ang masasabi ko lang, uh, with each generation, nagkakaroon talaga ng improvement. <laughs> <laughs> The best version. No? Uh, oh. Kasi I, I, I know that Mike won't mind. No? Siyempre, pagka yung anak mas pogi talaga sa tatay yan. <laughs> hindi, buhok lang naman yung nilamang ko kay Daddy. <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko nga pinag-usapan yung buhok ni Mike. <laughs> Ay go to Miss Kaya. <laughs> Ayan. So so from yung, 'di ba, the love of the product and then you studied it. Ano yung vision ng final creation na ng Luis Luigi's Pizza? And what are the top three factors or objectives na nag-inspire sa from transitioning from OFW to your current negosyo? Mm. Um so ayun nga, uh with uh the dealership uh um job wala na. Mm. Um, I I had to find work. So, one one idea was, yun nga, why don't you try selling what you you're making the the pizza? So from there, uh, ayun, I first, syempre, my my friends have tried it, my neighbors have tried it. Um, so sabi ko, would it sell kaya? Because uh, there's a group. On Facebook, you know, uh, food groups depending on the mm, city. Yeah, yeah. Mm. From, uh, I'm I'm from. I'm from BF, BF Paranaque. Mm. And I was told, why don't you try, I, I, a few people have told me, why don't you try to sell on, online? Mm-hmm. And from there, um, ayun, that's how it actually started, uh, BF Home Sarap. Uh, I have, ang laki ng, ang pasasalamat ko sa, sa BF Home Sarap. Doon ako nagsimula magbenta and that's where I was able to really develop the product. So going back to uh, the question of Miss Cher, um, what are the top three factors that uh, from shifting from OFW to resto negosyante? Um, I'd say one is the fact na home is home. Yun lang naman yun eh. Uh, as much as I love the two and a half years I stayed in Japan, 
iba pa rin pag nasa Pilipinas ka, di ba? Mm. Yung, yung amoy pa lang ng Manila or it's it's the people, especially the people, di ba? The people who mm-hmm. home is where your your heart is and of course, it's always been in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So, that's one. Uh, home is home. And as an assistant language teacher, it's nice because you're teaching kids, di ba? I'm, I, I taught uh, junior uh, elementary all the way up to junior high school in, in Japan. It's nice to... Siyempre, natuturuan mo sila na English. They're learning. It's nice when you see them really trying to have a conversation with you. That's good. But of course, I like it. It's a good and rewarding profession. Pero uh, ako pa rin talaga, I'd go after what uh, I really like. It. Or yun na talaga hilig ko. One, which was motorcycles. And then two, um, pizza. Kaya dun, dun talaga siya napunta. And lastly, uh, back in the, if I am back in the Philippines and if I do something here, it could make my community better. So that's why Galing. those are the three things why, ano, why I decided to start. So ayan, BF Home Sarap, I would sell. I remember lang, uh, the first time I sold in BF Home Sarap, I just, Posted. Siyempre, post ka. Post ka ng picture ng pizza mo. Tapos sinabi ko, oh, so, hi, my name's Luigi. Um, I'm from BF. Uh, I make pizza for my family and friends on the weekends. And that is on, uh, I, I make probably six pizzas. Four or two for my family. And then, yung iba extra na. So, I don't know what to do with the extra. So, sabi ko, does anyone want to buy it on the weekend? And then, ayun, boom, biglang nag-comment na, no. ang dami comments sa mga tao. Nice. Galing, galing. And at that time, parang ako, oh, okay, wala pa akong delivery. So what happens was, after I cooked the pizza, I had to deliver it with a car pa. Montero pa ni ma'am ginagamit ko. Na. Nagagalit pa siya, pinapagasa mo ba? <laughs> hindi ko pinapagasa. <laughs> so I had to, I had to, ano, I had to bring it eh. And hindi ko naman, I can't, I didn't have a delivery bag naman. I couldn't bring my motorcycle or anything. So, So ayun, it was it was crazy how I was so overwhelmed that daming tao nag-comment and then I had to backlog kasi people were saying, "Uy, can we buy? Can we buy? Wait lang. I'm just selling two pizzas on the weekend." And the next thing you know, and daming tao nagtatanong. So that's how it started. I remember uh I was just doing the weekends. Eventually it became Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Eventually naging Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday naging five times a week. At one point it was six times a week pa nga eh. Parang ho, okay. And dami and for me I was overwhelmed before because if I get eight orders in a day, feel ko bugbog na bugbog na. Ako. <laughs> <laughs> and um and then it's just been going on for for about almost a year na. Yun nga, we started last May, di ba? It's already it's already April. <laughs> so malapit na mag Malapit na mag one year na I've been doing pizza. Ayan. Ayan, nagutom tuloy ako. Hindi ko Ayan, that's, that's the picture. So, um, <laughs> from the, uh, yun, ginawa ko yung layout ng, ng poster. And then that's that's the pizza. That's a pepperoni and jalapeno with a stuffed crust. So, our pizzas are 12 inches and mm-hmm. about, ayan, eight slices. So, it's good for... Good for two. Realistically, it's good for two adults. Kasi four slices each yan eh. Pag, tama, pag, tama. pag konting varianda, sige, two to three. Or <laughs> pag ako, pag, pag gutom na gutom ako, I can eat, I can eat one. Mm-mm. Ayun, so that that's our menu. Thank you for showing the menu. Yeah, yeah I tried it finally no? uh, last week and I was really very happy about it. And you know, ako naman, hindi ni porky kaibigan kaibigan, di ba? I, 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 I give feedback kasi that's the best way to help a fellow resto negosyante is to give uh, fruitful uh, mm. feedback. And I, you know, gustong-gusto ko yung crust, no? Uh, yung texture ng crust. Kasi yung toppings, ano yan eh, madali. Meaning, ma- relatively, mas madali siyang mm. mag-evolve. Mm-hmm. Diba? But, but, you know, para ma-perfect mo yung crust, talagang mahilig ka sa pizza. And I think pinagdaanan na ito, maraming experiments, trial and error. And yes. That's what I appreciate, no? Parang kami nung araw na, sa, kaya ako naging hypertensive siguro sa kakakain ng chicken wings, di ba? <laughs> sa ayong maanghang na chicken wings. No? So, uh, eh, ganun din. No? Na, you know, na, na, na papareministory ako eh, di ba? It's always the best time sa isang konsepto yung nagsisimula ka. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Kasi April pa naman ngayon. 
So April 1 yung anniversary ng ano eh, ng Buffalo's Wings and Things. Mm-hmm. So na, na nung nag nagkwentuhan nga kami, syempre sa Viber as preparation for this episode, na papareminis talaga ako and I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for your family who's involved, no? Dad mo, nakita ko nagdi-deliver, promoting, no? And you know, mm-hmm. it, it 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 ano eh, it makes yung bonding ng pamilya mas mas malakas eh, diba? It's ano eh, coach, it's a uh, yun nga, it's family centered. Everyone who's helping me, family and really good friends, laking tulong nila sa akin pag sa with with managing the pizza and everything. And din nga, um if you see uh here, uh the painting, that's that's the logo. That's that's the logo of uh, of Luigi's. Yeah, oh, sa gitna, that's diba? actually ano um kasi uh, my girlfriend uh, Monica she's very talented with painting. Ako naman di ako marunong magpaint. <laughs> so I I can just uh, doodle. So I doodled the the drawing the concept parang one summer uh, we we came I I was here and then for just for bonding lang diba. I I draw and then we try to convert it into a painting. So we did that. And ayun, ever eh yun na nga, 'di ba? During lockdown, lumalakas yung pizza. Eh. So parang it it needed a it needed a Facebook page, it needed a, an image, a logo. So what better than yun nga, I told you, die hard also pizza. So that's how we we ended up. Sige, let's use ano, let's use our painting for the for the logo of of the brand. Mm-hmm. And to, to the point na okay, medyo malakas. So why don't we we're we're selling a good number of pizzas. Why don't we we have our branding on the box. So, syempre, yun nga, like what a coach said, di ba, pag gumagawa ka ng, pag gumagawa ka in the start, di ba, conceptualizing and, and developing it, yun nga, parang na-excite ka eh. Like, to see your logo on a box of mm. pizza, di ba, parang, okay, wow, I'm actually at this point where I have my own box and it has the logo, it has the name Luigi's Pizza on it. So, it's, it's, it's a very nice uh, experience to have. Yeah. Yes, at saka ano branding standpoint, nakakatuwa yung touch na meron siyang kanji, yung yung Japanese. Oh, kasi, kasi uh, 'di ba, it's the best of what you have and then makikita mo may plantito. So parang you knew the fusion between like ano, medyo baguettes pero alam natin pag nakita natin yung Japanese, oy, masarap 'to. So you know the quality and the the, yes, the main yes. insight. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to add the uh, a little bit of Japanese kasi that's where I started developing it rin naman eh. Mm. Mm, that's where I started trying to make the pizza. So it it has a no, uh, it has its uh, roots then back to when I was starting palang in Japan. So it has a little bit of the branding itself. It has a little bit of uh, a Japanese influence on it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, nagtouch ka na a bit. Pero I'd like to ask about yung yung nga yung na, na, I mean oh, kasi di ba nagstart ka dun sa may 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 palimbo effect ka pa nung medyo March tapos biglang sabi mo biglang April or May ready na siya how was the experience of setting up and opening and yung challenges that you faced and overcame ah uh, ayun um actually what what happened was ayun nga it was the new year 2021 and then syempre um this looks like it's gonna be a long term career diba kasi last year ito yung bumuhay sa akin ng pandemic so mom said na Okay, so you have to set goals, diba? She's pushing me towards getting more goals. So it's either increase your sales or do something different or you have to improve what you're doing now because yan yung bubuhay sa pamilya mo in the future. Mm-hmm. So, mom, uh, uh, at one point, uh, I was with my friends in, in Tagaytay and we were, uh, we were just there in a, friend's, in a good friend's house and my mom called and there was uh she told me na oh we're in the local ramen restaurant uh, mensaka by nbf and then she said there's a spot beside it and the rent is cheap mm-hmm. <laughs> so i'm like okay that's nice and then she told me the price and everything I'm like, okay i'm considering kasi parang okay it's pandemic so parang it's too much of a risk and then the next thing i know parang one or two days later mom calls me and says oh we deposited now i'm like okay <laughs> I guess we're I guess we're gonna have a pizza store soon. Galing ng mga nanay talaga eh. Ayun, si Mom and Dad, si Mom and Dad yan. They were they were just eating and then nakita nila eh mura yung rent eh. So we had to take the chance basically. Ayun. So that's how it started na construction. Syempre, we were we were yun nga construction, 'di ba? Hindi naman ako master architect i had some help from my cousin abroad si john so he gave like a he gave a nice layout 
And then from there, we had to, kami na mismo, ako, si mom, kami nagsusukat, sinusukat namin lahat, uh, talking to the contractor. Like, almost like every day we would go there just to check the progress. And it's just trial and error lang talaga. I remember the first paint that, because uh, I have this vision of what I want the place to look like. And thankfully, mm-hmm. that's what happened. It looked exactly the way I pictured it in my head with the help of family, friends, uh, my parents, diba? It was, it was, it's a dream, to be honest. Uh, ayun, it, we were so hands-on with, with building it and yun nga, getting all the permits and everything. So, it was, ano, it was fast, parang three weeks or a month to construct the small space. It's a pretty good small space naman. Just enough for a two-seater or three-seater inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can put a bench outside. So it's a small takeout place. Ayan. Uh, other than that, um, yun nga, it's hard because I never really had a business before. <laughs> diba? And, and biglang, after a month, boom, okay, you have a business. So here I am. Uh, it's, it's one day at a time. We're taking it one day at a time. We're learning everything. Uh, we're learning a lot of new things with regards to doing business. Diba? It's mm-hmm. trial and error lang talaga. Mm-hmm. With yung yung no mention the parang ang nagline up lahat sa iyo eh in a, in a really nice way. In terms of in this one year, ang parang ang bilis eh mm-hmm. no, parang one year. Ano yung mm-hmm. naging challenge and how did you overcome it? Um for challenges I'd say ayun nga, sometimes the marketing you have to find a way to kasi syempre people will see your your ads diba and then they just see the same thing. Mm-hmm. What can you do to make it different? That's mm-hmm. one So it's either you have to come up with a new flavor or you have to make it look really nice so it's very enticing to people, diba. Right? And syempre, one of the biggest challenges was, was ano, COVID, the pandemic mm-hmm. itself. Um, ang laking hirap niyan kasi kailangan doubly ingat ka with people's food. People are very particular with that, diba. Right? Um, the, especially the deliv- ang pinaka-at-risk dyan, yung mga delivery. And, mm-hmm. uh, uh, one of my really good friends, uh, Aaron, He, he helps me out uh, with deliveries because he, he, he coaches. Eh, syempre, pandemic, di ba? So it, it gives him a lot of free time. I'm really thankful uh, to my friend, si Migs. Uh, another friend, tumulong yan kasi parang pag may free time yan, tutulong yan sa paggawa ng pizza. Yan, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, si Mon. They're all, they've, they've been there, my cousin Val. Um, a lot of people really helped me with this. Ang ano dito is parang it's a pandemic. People are having a hard time, but it doesn't stop other people from helping you to reach whatever goals you want. So I guess, ano lang talaga? Um, it's hard as a, one of the challenges of the pandemic is, yun nga, your dine-in is cut. The amount of people you can serve is cut. Curfew, that's, that's one pa ngayon, curfew. Mm, curfew. Uh... Kasi um, curfew now is until 6 p.m. So... <laughs> The, well, I told you, every day we learn new things. Um, one of the biggest things I've learned is ang hirap maglinis ng kitchen. Oh, oh. <laughs> no? Mm. Mom is oh, super, yeah. super, 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 expert ako dyan eh. <laughs> super, uh, talagang she's, she cleans it to the teeth. It's, it's crazy. Na, yun nga, ang tagal. It takes us about an hour to clean. Other than that, you have to prep up for the next day, di ba? Yes. So we have to be, uh, no, we have to, we have to finish orders by four, deliveries by four. So four to five, we can clean up. By five o'clock, pa-uwi na kami para hindi naabutin ang curfew. So for me, that's one. Curfew, curfew is a problem. And, um, yun nga, masks, di ba? You have to wear masks. Sometimes if you're, kung bugbuga na sa order, parang hirap huminga. Pero wala, you have to wear the masks. Eh. So, ayun. And then you have to generally, or you have to, I know, you have to always keep in mind, always wash your hands, always alcohol, parang ganun. As in, you have to really double up on on safety. And one more problem for me is probably staffing. Mm-hmm. Ang hirap kumuha ng tao sa labas ngayon. You have to get someone na, okay, this person, most of the time kasama mo naman, so okay lang. Or hindi naman to umaalis. Ganun. Parang like, Uh, my my good friend si Aaron who does deliveries the only time lumalabas yan is usually kasama ko pa siya if we had to get supplies in the super or in the in the market or in the mall so alam ko hindi siya lumalabas so parang to some extent we know it's a bit safe kasi magkakasama lang kami sa village eh, kababata ko yun 20 years ko na rin kilala so ayun lang eh, it's hard if you get someone outside you don't really know their background di ba 
It's hard to say saan ba galing tong taong to? Sino ba nakakasama nito? Ganun. So I think one of the biggest problems is staffing rin. Ayun. Yun lang naman. Oo, grabe ang journey. Mm. Yes, coach, you have you have something to say, coach? Hindi ako na ano lang ako na aamaze ako, no? Ang galing. Mm-mm. Galing ng parang si ano rin eh, 'di ba? Naalala mo nung nakausap natin si Zark, no? Yes. Uh-uh. And even yung mga si Aba, 'di ba? Yung para para sila uh-huh. ng storya na uh, basta malinaw sa yung vision mo eh, no? And then yung purpose mo, talagang uh, solidly planted ika nga yung ugat ng purpose mo. Hindi ka maliligaw. And then one thing that I admire with this uh, pamangkin ko, no? <laughs> Nag- nakipamangkin na eh, no? Is that ano eh, uh, yung quality, no? And I think mm-hmm. yung pag-passionate ka kasi sa isang bagay, hindi mo papabayaan na mabasardize yung produkto. Uh-huh. Diba? And maganda yung ginagawa niya kasi tutok siya. No? Hindi pa pwedeng pakawalan. Kung baga sa uh-huh. baby, hindi mo pa pwedeng awatin yan eh. No mm-hmm. and yun yung recommendation ko talaga na tutukan pa din yung quality every pie that goes out you know it's it's what it's what will build yung brand kasi right now nasa brand building phase ka pa eh yes. yung business madali na yan eh madali yung business natutuwa nga ako sa iyo meron ka talaga yung sold out na siya hindi na kaya tama yun eh kasi some people would have that tendency na sige kunin pa natin and then quality start to suffer the mm-hmm. compromises start to happen So, you know, from what I'm hearing, talagang maganda yung ano, maganda yung foundation, no? And napakasarap ng feeling na may pamilya ka at kaibigan na sumusuporta. Yes, oo. So, ako naman, yung part ko dito, siguro, if there's anything that we can help you with, no? For free, no? For free. Mga isang pizza lang naman yan. No? Ayun naman ako. <laughs> we, we'll definitely help you, no? Yung mga na, pag naririnig ko yan, cleaning the kitchen. Of course, we have people We have people in our community na sa loob ng restaurant community natin that we can help you and in this na hmm. in a trial and error mo pa yung sistema, we can share with you yung mga sistema. So how to close the kitchen faster, how to do prep ahead, how to organize your prep sheet. So hmm. maraming taong, yun maganda ngayon eh, di ba share nung nagkaroon, oh, ng, lalo oh. nung nagka-pandemia, ang dami talagang gusto makapag-collaborate at tumulong. Yes. No? So speaking of which, magpa, para mapahinga muna yung bisita natin, oh. ang daming... Ang dami na nanonood. nanonood no? oh, oh. Yes, so, kasi usually sa live hindi gaano pero sa replace na lang nag-umaabot ng thousands, no. Si Miss Monica, no, ito gusto kong imbitahin to, share, no. Imbitahin natin siya one of these days. Yes. Para sa digital marketing, no. Si Monica, Miss Tancedo. Magandang gabi sa iyo at maraming maraming salamat. So heartwarming na makita kang nandiyan. Of course, si Cheryl Ferrer, speaking of pizza, one of the pizza masters ng Shakey siya, no. Pechi D. Si Marvick Eranya Mojica. So proud of you, Luis. Way to go. Ayan, mga, mga nag-cheer sa'yo, pamilya. Mm-hmm. Janina Erika Luna. Luigi's Pizza, the best. Ayan, the best. Hindi <laughs> ko makapture yung ano yan. Jane Ching, magandang gabi po. <clears throat> Lovely Tabor Soliman. Ang dami, ang dami ngayon ng ano, bago. Pao Santos, magandang gabi po. Of course, si Tita Tina. <laughs> Tina Tina Duque Castro, na parating ina-Alaska ang daddy mo. <laughs> so proud of you, Luigi. Galing mo. Ayan. Maximo Carlos, Maria Teresa, Katador na. Of course, my sister. Magandang gabi sa iyo, ate. At may mga nang-Alaska, hindi ko nababasahin. No? Mga mukhang ina-Alaska. <laughs> Suriel Panganiban, magandang gabi po. Larry Delgado Velasco. Sakto yung owner's name where pizza was originated. Cheers. Ayan po mga komentaryo. Siyempre, supportive yung mga comment ng mga nanonood sa atin. Mish, Landicho Lim is also watching. Carlos Sangria. Dudski Sumar. Ayan, we love Luigi's Pizza. Na totoo lang, yung word of mouth net ng Luigi's napakalakas. No? Oh. Sa mga tama sinabi ni Luigi sa mga communities, like, sa amin, sa Howbol community lang ng dad niya. No? And, and it's, kami, we support because, not that because friend, no? but Masarap talaga siya no and again no the crust no? alam mong marunong sa pizza yung gumawa no anong oven ang ginagamit mo Luigi anong oven ang ginagamit mo ngayon so ngayon semi commercial semi commercial deck brick deck uh, uh, deck hmm, galing so yan mga mag-evolve pa yan and of course there as, as your business grows marami pang available na technology para ma-increase mo yung capacity pero there's no again no medyo bago ka dalawang dekada ka na hanggang sa tumanda na yung brand mo, hindi malalaos ang quality. And I think yun yung, yun yung maganda rito sa Luigi's. Kaya yun, niyayari natin dito sa ating show para mag-share din ng, ano, no, ng, 
ng inspiration at empowerment sa ating mga viewers about what really matters sa isang negosyo. Yes. Diba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Matyaga siya eh, no? hindi niya minamadali. Correct, oo. At saka very clear kasi ang daling ano yan eh, yung, yung nag-grow siya ng market. Very clear yung market. Yeah, and despite the challenges, ano yung advice you would give to still those sa happen, ano, planning to open a business in the near future? I'd say um, just focus on cooking good food. Mm-hmm. Talaga, yun talaga. Now, that's of course that's number one. Uh, focus on cooking good food, and next would be uh, uh, work hard. Yun naman talaga yun. Eh. It's it's hard work, but uh, if opportunity is there, take it. Yun yun ayon. Sometimes yun nga. Eh. Hindi na nga ako yung nag-call ng opportunity. My parents were the ones who found the, ano, they found the a really good price for rent. So they mm-hmm. said, let's take it. So parang, uy, okay. So we're there. Let's go. Let's do it. Parang ganun. And of course, um, with what I said about uh, community, um, build your community. Build build it. Diba? So for me, it's pizza and BF Homes, that's my community. So as much as possible, I want to really take care of my customers, talk to them or I know. It's not like, uh, diba, if you go to some places, okay, just take your order, get your pizza, that's done. That's it. Mm-hmm. So parang sa akin, parang if, if you go to me, I want to know, did you enjoy it? Mm-hmm. What Are you, you going to eat it with, or eat it and then watch a movie or something? Parang customer interaction, basically. Mm-hmm. So... You get to talk to your customers, diba? build a relationship with them. Lakim bagay niyan for me. Parang if you go, you have your, I know, for guys, diba? you go to your barber, you talk to your barber. So for me, it's something like that. You go to your pizza guy, you talk to your pizza guy. I'm your pizza guy. So I'd, I'd want it to be centered. If, if I know, yun nga, that's my advice. Take care of your customers. Uh, try to get to know them. Diba? And if uh, they're, and they're going to support you. And lakim, laking bagay sa akin ng BF community in, with regards to support. Ang dami nila, ang dami nila. So, yun lang naman. Oo. I think now more than ever important yung connection because people are looking for connection nowadays kasi, di ba, feeling very isolated. That's why pizza is also good for the past year kasi it, it somehow gives you the sense of community pa rin. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, pero sa totoo lang, share, ah, pagdating mm-hmm. sa pizza, parang mm-hmm. Chinese food sa Pilipinas yan eh. Mm-hmm. Marunong, ang, marunong ang Pilipinas sa pizza. Oh, oh, so, oh. paring pwede kang maglabas, magnegosyo ng pizza, yun ang paalala ko sa lahat. No? But again, you should have reached a certain level of quality, quality. Yes. that would make your product really parang ano, no? of value mm-hmm. and also make communicate to the customers that you, you know, you you care for them kasi the best way to communicate to customers that you care for them is to make their money's worth no parang yung kumbaga make the experience worth their money mm-hmm. kaya nga na hindi eh, mo sila lulukohin authenticity yun eh kasi mm-hmm. when people talk about authenticity unang-una ang laki ng advantage ng bisita natin napaka-authentic ng story yes, eh totoo. kaya nga yung title natin a pizza lover's dream sabi mm-hmm. nga nung isang uh, nagko-comment dito and i think kakilala kaya ata nito maybe a customer no siya sabi na that the pizza is an extension of your own story yes diba a pizza mm-hmm. your pizza is just, uh, totoo yun i believe that no even the the logo the the japanese uh, origin uh, the tribute no and how it the journey is very you know, talagang may may providence ng ano mayroong may guidance ng Dios eh no na talagang mm. ito yung nangyari no Uh-oh. ito yung nangyari umuwi ka na anak magkakaroon ka ng pagdating oh 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 gusto ko pa coach ano eh. Go ahead, go ahead. Actually, gusto ko coach kasi parang, di ba, yung parang, oh, sige, magbabenta ako motor. Ay, hindi. Yung motor ang maghahatid sa gagawin mo ngayon. Mas malaki. <laughs> mm. oh. I was I was able to get a really nice bike because of this. <laughs> oh, see? I, I never I never saw myself riding a, a big bike. Di ba? Mm. I used to have a small bike and then with, yun, nakapag-ipon. Nakapag-ipon rin. So, it's ano talaga. Who would have thought dahil sa pizza, di ba? So actually, on my bike, the the logo, it's it's like stamped on the tank. So every time, it's a reminder. Every time I sit down on that bike, it's like pizza pizza got me there. Yeah. Oh, totoo yun. Totoo Katas yun. ng pizza, ganun. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> And nakaka-excite isipin yung ano niya, no? yung, yung possibilities. Yes. Di ba? Kinikwento nga yung story ng lolo ko, di ba, share na tumak-tumak sa China. 
Nagtayo mm-hmm. ng pansiteria sa, tab- sa tabi ng kalsada hanggang sa naging restaurant, no? Hanggang sa lumaking restaurant, nakabili ng iba't ibang mga para sa pamilya, no? Mm-hmm. That's how ano, that's how ano eh, significant yung ano, no? yung role ng isang negosyo para sa pamilya. And tama yung advice ng mami mo sa iyo, no? That, and your dad also na it will you know your legacy of your restaurant and your leadership as a visionary of the brand and Luigi himself, no? Balang araw, imagine mo generations no, with your kids and your apo, no? And they will be proud to say na Luigi is my dad, Luigi is my lolo. And Mm-mm. when they look at the brand, di ba? It's your name, di ba? Andun yun eh. No? And you will look back at this, you know, this period in time where sa pandemic pa pinanganak yan, di ba? Yeah. Partida na. Oo. Oh, oh. Partida na. Mm. <laughs> Pero yung sabi nga nila, di ba? Baka kung hindi nag-pandemic, hindi rin ganun katindi yung determination natin to to hmm. ano, di ba? To break out of our box, di ba? At lumabas tayo rin sa box na binigay sa atin ng society na dapat magtrabaho tayo. And yeah. kanya-kanyang story, and ako, tanto ako sa story na ito, no? A comparable sa story ni Zark, eh, no? Oo. Comparable sa story ni Zark. And to think, di ba, nag-start nga sa pandemya, so wala pa siyang baseline, kumbaga, na parang this yes. is the normal. Hindi. This is new normal. Yun yung, yung baseline niya. <laughs> Totoo yun. Kaya ako rin, hindi ako gaano nagbo-volunteer makialam. Kasi nga, magandang ano eh, in-explore niya yung ano eh. No? But again, no, it's just assurance also that you're part of a, com- a bigger community now of resto negosyantes and, you know, I'm here to help if you need help, no? When you Thank need you it, much. you know, just just let me know if you have questions, no? Hmm. Sometimes may mga daan na, okay, sasabihin ko na sa'yo, oh, nadaanan ko na yan, ito, 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 mag-usapan natin. Uh-oh. So, ako we're na here naman, for you. Nag- ako rin, okay. nag-volunteer on the marketing side if you find, like, some challenges, I'll be more than hmm. happy to help, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we support yung mga taong katulad mo, no, na at a young age, your, ano, no, your, uh, and I'm sure yung mga partner din natin share, no? Si Bianca yeah. and si Wine and si Zark will support mm-hmm. you and uh, ano yan eh magandang ano magandang uh, magandang purpose at magandang uh, movement no mm-hmm. kung susuriin mo may movement na nangyayari eh, dapat parang OFE parang mm-hmm. si Luigi di ba so we, oh. we you know it's a big community of people now trying to make the Philippines a better country yes, di ba yes, in yes. their own way so and ito dating OFW rin to Mm-mm. So, isa pa yan sa malapit sa puso natin. Yes. So, Sige, share. what's next for Luigi's Pizza and what can the public do to help keep local businesses afloat? Okay, so maybe I'll start with what can uh, the local uh, what can the public do to help yeah. local businesses stay afloat? Siguro ano, um when you're out in the mall, then you see something nice, like siguro uh, a shirt or or something, just check muna if there's a local version of it or uh parang kapares pero local diba remember when when you yun lang naman yun eh parang before you buy something ask yourself is there anyone local also doing it diba kasi pag ganun uh, you're you're ano eh you're directly supporting that person whoever made the item that you're buying diba diretso na sa kanila yon hindi na pa ikot-ikot if it's like a big corporation So for me, that's probably the best way to help the local scene. Um, just try to think first if there is a local. Baka pa nga, mas makamura ka, di ba? And the quality is bet- uh, same or e- even better if you if you get uh, something local. Like yun nga, in, in BF Home Sarap, yun pa lang, it's all food. And these are food made by your neighbors. So instead of going somewhere big muna, try to see muna kasi everyone's having a hard time now, di ba? So, try to order it from from them, from your neighbors. Malay mo, yung isang order na yan, ang laking tulong na pala sa kanila, di ba? Or if there's an artist and they do commissions, try to get that as a present for a friend other than giving something nice to your friend na handmade, di ba? Galing rin. Natulungan mo pa yung artist kasi it's ano eh, diretso sa kanila yung cash, di ba? Or ano, yung tulong diretso sa kanila. So, ano, yun lang naman. Um, if you can go local or if you can find the local alternative, do that. Ayan. And then, what what's next for Luigi's? Um, for now, um, I'm slowly, me and the team, we're slowly trying to get more orders in, to be honest, kasi we've been open. This is our third week and First week and second week, grave. Ang laki ng, ang laki ng ano, reception sa amin. 
ng ano ng community mm-hmm. and yun nga maabot sa point na where we're sold out or or we we run out of stock so syempre maliit lang yung team so we can only do so much we have to keep the quality in check diba like what coach yeah, said yeah, yeah. kailangan quality pa rin yan so uh to everyone watching please bear please bear with us uh we're trying to get as much orders out to the best of our abilities diba uh, please be patient and sometimes when i say na um uh, sorry po full na po kami or ano ayun so that's one thing we're working on with luigi's is trying to increase capacity diba because if you want to increase capacity you have to increase storage ganun pa man- manpower so we'll, we'll work on it and i'd want luigi's eventually pag tapos na lockdown or when people can go out a place where you can hang out diba um Siguro if I can do events, I have friends who DJ. We can probably do some lo-fi. Uh, you can put like DJ uh, turntable in the shop and then just like hang out with friends. Or maybe I like bikes, diba? If bike groups want to find a place to drive in the city, park, mm-hmm. eat pizza, diba? Or mm-hmm. I also like music, so we can also do um, music events, acoustic nights. So I want to do events with within my community. Actually, that's what I want in line for Luigi's. If we do uh, get to finish the lockdown, uh, ayun na, yun lang naman, coach. Tsaka, she, you know. Nagdago lang share, no? May mga, mm-hmm. ang ganda ng mga comments dito. No? Uh, yung kanina nagsabi that the pizza is an extension of Luigi's na uh, si Suriel. Zuriel Panganiban. No? Magandang gabi po sa inyo. Of course, yung mga taga Las Vegas sumusuporta sa'yo. Miss Annette Villavicencio Dominguez also. Lorna Urgel Villavicencio. Of course, yung mga kaibigan natin from uh, OFE, Michael Pay, Magandang gabi yeah. sa'yo, brother. Si Elena Carlos, Kevin Lim. Si Chito Jauregui, nakabuo ng isang oras. Ha? Dati, umaalis to kagad. Ha? Support kay nephew. Ha? Narinig yung haubol eh. <laughs> Eto maganda no Rosana Joy Lim excited to taste Luigi's pizza on Friday pre-ordered no pre-ordered na siya ayan good job <laughs> ah, syempre hindi tayo pwedeng para si Tito Pepe lang din dito pwedeng dito pa sa akin Vienna no yeah. mamisin magandang gabi po <laughs> magandang gabi taga Paranaque yan papatikimin natin si Mami magpi-pre-order ako minsan inspiring sold out lagi yan so naka-pre-order kami from Mr. Arthur Avenir Pizza na yami. Ayan, si Maria Lencia. Way to go, Luigi, from Miss Joyce Kids. Nakakatawa, oh. Mm-hmm. Daming supporter. Malupit gumawa ng pizza yan, Lods. No, si Joel Matulak. Kasi si Mami, <laughs> si Mami Kea, kanina pa siya nag uh, na at nanonood at uh, nag-co-comment. Ayan po. Magandang gabi po. Ang dami pong suporta no, sa kay Luigi. Nakakatawa po. Tama po yan. Suporta natin yung mga nagsisimula. No? Lalo pa yung nagsisimula responsibly. And that's what I'm proud of uh, dito sa Luigi's Pizza. No? Yung quality. No? Ako kasi I always ano, ano, eh, I try. Uh, diba? yeah, safety, cleanliness, excellence. No? Makita mo. Nag, yung tao talaga. Ano yan, eh? It's a combination of all the experiences in life. Yes. No? Yung pagja-Japan niya. No? Of course, Mm-mm. yung Pamilya, yung background sa pamilya, yung pag-aaral, yung pinagdaan ng mga challenges. And yung timing. No, ang ganda ng story ng timing. No? Pag maalaala mo kaya yung timing. <laughs> Pang ano talaga eh. No? Kung baga you find something better. Kala mo nawalan ka. Yung pala dinadala ka dun sa situation where yun na yung destiny mo. Okay. Very proud of you, Luigi. Love from Virginia, USA. Si Miss Lorna Villavicencio. Magandang gabi po. Yun, share. Ang daming kagahanga ng ating ano, bisita. Oo. Actually, before yung top three takeaways ko, mangingi ako ng ano, kung if, if you want, if you have any special messages or invites or please do promote yeah. Luigi's Pizza. Okay. Um, so, uh, we're, ano, we are on a pre-order basis. Because uh, what I'd want is, um, I'd want it I would have some allocation for pre-orders. And of course, hindi ko naman pwedeng kalimutan yung mga walk-ins. Mm-hmm. Diba? So parang ano, remember, I only, I only have one delivery guy. Pero that's, that's my good buddy. And he gets the pizza to you hot and ready. Because yeah. <laughs> we use nga, ano, sometimes we'd use big bikes. Sometimes we'd use a scooter. Basta we'll get the pizza to you hot and ready. Mm-hmm. For sure yan. Pero um, please bear with us because 
it's pre-order and we need to space out the deliveries, especially kung siya yung deliver Sometimes hindi siya, sometimes he died. <laughs> so, ganyan din. So, if it's in a scooter, it's gonna be faster. If it's gonna be in a big car, it's gonna be slower. So, uh, yun lang. Asking for a little bit of patience and we'll, we'll get the pizzas to you. And of course, there's allocation for same-day phone-ins and walk-ins. Of course, we will try to service both pre-order and same day. Ano lang, yun lang. I'd ask for everyone's uh, patience and understanding. And so far, yun naman. I'm, I'm so happy that everyone I've asked with regards to, I'm sorry if we can't service today. Is it okay we, we schedule you for these available days? And everyone's been so understanding with it. Everyone's Yay. been so patient. I'm so, I'm so happy with the community that they're really, really nice, the community here. So, ayun, um, please do check out my page. It's on Facebook uh, at Luigi's Pizza PH. I post um, updates there. I post if it's sold out para hindi na kayo sometimes kasi, uy, tara, punta tayo, tas yung pala sold out na. So, as soon as, as soon as it hits na the point where I can't service anyone else, automatic yan. I will, I will post na sold out para hindi na maano. And of course, um, I'm. I'd like to say sorry if hindi ako na reply agad because I'm. All I'm. I'm the main guy cooking the pizza, so if it's crunch time, hindi ako ma reply agad. Sometimes nakikita ko nagreading yung phone and I'm like, oh my god. So I give it to my mom and then my mom acts as the front of house. I told you it's a family run uh, thing. Galing, galing. Family and friends yan. Yan yung tumutulong talaga sa akin. Um, and she would answer the phone. She would coordinate. She would ask me if sa natin masisingit to sa schedule ko may walk in parang ganon. So Ayun lang naman. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for everyone for being very patient with the brand and for supporting the brand. So do check us out on Facebook. We're open from Tuesday until Sunday. And of course, feel free to message me for any questions uh, with regards to our pizza. You know. Galing. Pati mga ano, share, taga Vienna, nanonood sa atin. Oo. Kila Sherilyn, na Sherilyn Pineda. Magandang gabi sa inyo dyan sa lahat. Regards sa mga taga Vienna, no? Malapit na kami pumunta diyan pag natapos na lahat to. Okay. Sige, ano ang ating top 3 takeaway? Ayan, ang ating top 3 takeaways. First and foremost, is, uh, ang ganda ng mention mo kanina, coach. It's about travel. Kasi nakakatawa dito yung pick up from what yung from your travels to seize the opportunity. Bring home souvenirs that can grow. Kasi yan yung ginawa ni Luigi. 'Di ba? Na parang Hindi yung, okay, I'll stay here. No, hindi. Inaral niya pa habang nandun siya on, on mastering mm-hmm. what he loves, which is pizza making. And then start with um, what, you're, what you really love, not only when you're back in the Philippines. Kasi yun yung vision eh, di ba? Kung ano yung pwede natin may iuwi. Focus, create, and sell what you love. Which what you did. And build your community. And uh, the last point is, take the leap of faith with your tribe. Which happens mm. to be you're very, very lucky to have family and friends that you're more, they're more than willing na to help you out because you trust them and you share your vision and yung support system mo is very, very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Sa ating guest na talaga naman, no, from the background pa lang, yung masasabi nating modern day superhero na dapat i-emulate yes. ng ating, ano, no, ng ating mga kabataan. No. And again, you can watch the episode. Pwede nyo pong share Kung nagustuhan niyo po, share niyo please. Uh, and we will upload it also on YouTube para po, mm-hmm. and again, no? Uh, marami pa pong ibang episodes sa ating library na pwede niyo pong uh, panoorin ulit at pag-aralan. Ayan. Mm-hmm. So bago tayo tuluyang magpaalam at magpasalamat, ito muna ang ating resto quote for the week na I think bagay na bagay sa ating bisita at sa ating story ngayong gabi. Sabi ni F. Scott, no? ni paring F. Scott, <laughs> Alam mo yan, no? The Great Gatsby, the Great yes. Gatsby, one of the greatest American novelists. One should be able to see that things are hopeless. Okay lang, nang pinsan nararamdaman natin that the situation is hopeless. Pero andiyan yung leader, yung determination natin to make them otherwise. Ikaw nga no, lalo sa mga panahon ngayon. Alam ko po, marami sa ating mga kababayan ang parang napapagod na dito sa COVID. No? Wag po kayong bibitaw, no? Nakaisang hmm. taon na tayo, malapit na po yan. Nagbabakuna na po and of course nag adjust tayo lahat. No, and we are getting better and stronger and wiser every day. So gaya po ng ating bisita tonight, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at maraming maraming salamat. Pero bago po yun, bigyan natin ng pagkakataon magpasalamat yung ating bisita. And again, to invite you all para sa Luigi's Pizza. Luigi, magpaalam ka muna sa ating mga tagapanood. 
Okay, of course, uh, Coach Cheryl, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's a big honor, actually, <laughs> to be interviewed by you guys. So thank you for um, uh, letting me share what I know and the story behind the, the brand. And of course, siyempre, pasalamat sa, of course, firstly, um, the community, BF, BF Home Sarap. On Facebook, uh, BF community guys, uh, thank you for being very patient <laughs> with the pre-orders, <laughs> and uh, thank you for walking in. Thank you for always inquiring. Thank you for being so nice to me when I subtly say I'm sorry. There's no more pizza, <laughs> so thank you for always uh, being there since ano pa since since the start of lockdown. Thank you for ordering. So thank you for all your support, and of course to my parents. My parents, uh, you guys pushed me really hard, and I'm very grateful. Thank you for depositing without telling me that you guys deposited for the <laughs> rental space, <laughs> which launched us. That's it. That's it. This is a <laughs> very very busy time in our lives now. And of yeah. course to my friends, my barcada, my barcada, Aaron for always. Putting up with the delivery, Sky Sobrang Inet Migs for swinging by the shop, Val for helping me, of course, and all of my friends. And to my friends who also took the time to visit the shop to order, thank you guys. And of course, last but not the least, my girlfriend for ano, helping me always. And when I feel na parang hindi ka na kaya, she still pushes me to do my best all the time. And ayun lang. So, and of course, God to ano. Ayan, that's all. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you, you so you, much. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Thank you po. Uh, thank you po sa inyo, Mr. Luigi. No? Hangang-hanga ako dito sa ating bisita. At Miss Cher, no? abangan ng lahat ng tao ang uh, ano na nangyari, ba't wala, ba't naka-video, uh, wala kang video ngayon. Ano? So, next episode, ipapaliwan. Ipapaliwan ako. <laughs> so, magandang gabi po at iwan po namin kayo ng aming pagbati na stay safe, stay healthy, and keep your wings up. God bless po. Maraming salamat. Thank you.